Of course, we do have Mr. Stephen Mbide, who is on ground. Good morning to you, Stephen. We select that part of uh, Mr. But uh, in this wake of uh, calls for vigilance and voices of uh, threats of uh, terrorism, uh, there is a partner, man's best friend, that is the dog, that we've been seeing uh, police using on the ground trying to those sniffer dogs trying to clear the places and do a downtown sweep and that's why i'm here at uh Nsambia, the k9 unit of the uganda police and this is uh, the reason as to why i'm here because uh, we've seen them at, th at least for those who have been watching uh, ntv tonight and of course ntv akaunges have been seeing the police officers downtown trying to uh, make a sweep and make sure that all the city, the, within the city centre, all is well. I'm going to be speaking to the commandant of the K9 unit, Dr. Martin Mogume. He's uh, here with his officers. They're on the ground to make sure that the, these dogs, sniffer dogs, are up to speed, up to the task of making sure that, yes, they are in the wake of uh, terrorism. They are, of course, they are good enough to uh, do the work. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, viewers. Mm. Doctor, we're here, and uh, of course, first of all, we, we are in the wake of uh, call for vigilance, calls for uh, voices. We've had voices uh, telling people that this is the time that we, everyone has to be so cautious. And we've seen you as the canine unit of the police doing sweeps. How effective are these dogs in this uh, fighting, of, fighting of crime? Uh, first of all, my name is Dr. Martin Mugume, and uh, I'm the commandant of the police canine unit. Mm. This is the police canine unit headquarters mm. at Nsambia. Mm. And specifically, this is the training ground mm. where we prepare all our working dogs from. Mm. The explosive detection dogs, the narcotics detection dogs, and the tracking dogs. Mm. Uh, our dogs are prepared uh, to the highest standards of working dogs, and they are very efficient, and they have helped us uh, a great deal. Mm in uh, performing our our duties mm. uh, you know our tracking dogs in the countryside um, have been very excellent if you saw the report uh, from the PRO last week yes it was talking about six over 6800 yeah. case suspects yeah. were arrested mm. over the last five months mm. from January up to the end of May mm. we arrested over 6000 criminals mm. various criminals uh, across the country mm. and uh, our explosive dogs of course are involved in uh, counter terror operations mm. and uh, every morning and uh, every time we are called upon mm. we do sweeps mm. across various Maybe installations you can begin by explaining what does what what is he doing now that's police officer this police officer mm. is training an explosive dog mm. explosive detection dog mm. as you can see there uh, those are training materials. These pipes uh, are training materials, and one of them has uh, an explosive in it. Mm. And you will see when a dog reaches a pipe mm. that has an explosive in it, mm. how it reacts. It sits, it indicates by sitting and saying there is something suspicious here. Mm. And that's what we do. Mm. Whenever a dog comes out, uh, uh, a dog is sent to work and mm. comes across mm. uh, either a luggage or a vehicle mm. or any article mm. that is carrying traces of explosive. Mm. It indicates to the handler and says, this article is suspicious. You, you know, we, have, we, we do have events, we do have uh, people who could be suspicious that uh, maybe in offices or even downtown, if that person has sees something that is so, something that could be suspicious, could that person just reach out to the police how much that how much that how much does the person have to pay to get a, a service from this canine unit uh, police uh, dogs across board mm. tracking explosive detection narcotics detection dogs are free of charge it's a free Re uh, really yes it's a free service you only need to call your nearest police station mm. and the service will be there at no cost even when I'm uh, at home and uh, burglars, uh, of course, uh, those pe people come in at night, I get suspicion that maybe uh, they rob the neighbor or robbed me. I could call the canine unit and yeah. then get a free yeah, service? Of course, yes. You just call the... We encourage you to have the police numbers mm. for, for your DPC, for your OC station, mm. for your OC post, 
and whenever you call you, you call mm. yeah in case of any emergency mm. canine will be there at no cost Free what does time. it okay what does it take to train these dogs uh right from uh, the time you get them can even someone who is an independent person can, can that person bring a dog from his home or her home and then you train it here can, what does it take from feeding to training and and when you're sure that this dog can do a thorough job uh, training uh, a working dog <coughs> is a very long process. It takes a period of not less than one year. Mm. From the time a, a dog is born, mm. you see those puppies over there. Mm. Uh, from around three months, we we do selection. Mm. Selec which breed is this one? This is a bloodhound, one of the best known uh, tracking dogs that mm. ever bred. Mm. From around three months, we begin doing selection to identify dogs. Mm. for this, uh, different specialties mm. and training begins mm. and uh, if it is for detection dogs explosive detection dogs mm. uh, we do what we call uh, drive development mm. the such drive development mm. which continues to about 10 months mm. and at 10 months that's when we introduce the material mm. that we wanted to detect mm. and training is uh, Completed at around 12 to 13 months. Mm. Ready for maybe, maybe let me tell uh, Fande Nangovi to bring that white dog. I see it's. Uh, maybe you can, if you can tell him to bring that white dog here. As I also speak to uh, Jordan in Swam here. Jordan, uh, I know that you're also part of uh, the tra dog trainers, dog lovers who are also organizing a dog walk this weekend. Tell me about this dog walk. Yes, now this time round, mm. we thought it was to bring up a dog walk. Mm. We, as a dog walk events, mm. We we sat back and thought, many people are out there, they're having dogs that are not vaccinated. Yeah. We've come to bridge the gap between the dogs yeah. and the owners. Yeah. We've come to bridge the gap between the dogs and the trainers. Yeah. We've come to sensitize people more about rabies. Yeah. People out there, you're having dogs that are not vaccinated. Please, we call you. This is a clear voice this time around. Come as we walk our dogs. Come and get sensitized more about rabies. Yeah. You'll find professional doctors there that are going to handle all your cases. Where is that and when, what does it take for someone to come and be part of this event? You don't need to make any payment. We just need you and your dog. Where and when? You're going to find us tomorrow at Kololo. We're going to start at 11 a.m. Yeah. Come join us. Come we walk our dogs. Exactly where in Kololo? Kololo at Marquez Avenue. Okay. Yes. All right then. Let me turn to, uh, as we go for a short commercial break, let me turn to the commander of the canine unit, uh, friend, uh, Dr. Martin. Mogume. Uh, that's the dog I was talking about. That yes, uh, that one is a, a Springer Spaniel, yeah. and uh, you know they are very good at uh, substance detection, mm. both explosive and uh, narcotics detection. Mm. Uh, they are some of the best sniffers, yeah. and uh, the canine is proud to announce that we, we have more than 30 of them in the unit. How, how old is that one? Looks young. This one is about uh, uh, eight months. Eight months. Mm. Mm. It's, uh, it's already maturing. Mm. And this is the size. Okay. And what you didn't know is that uh, mm. all the dogs that we deploy in Uganda mm. are Ugandan bred and Ugandan trained. Mm. And that is credit to the police. You can see, mm. if you walk here, you, you will see our um, the results of our our breeding center. Mm. Uh, some of the world class uh, sniffer dogs are bred and uh, trained here in Uganda. I think it's a plus for. For Uganda and, and, and for the police force, mm. you, you can see them. Do they get? Yeah. Do they sometimes get beaten by these dogs, these officers? Yes, at times they are special hazards. Uh, uh, okay. Your last word, uh, uh, Dr. Martin Togume, to the viewers who maybe could be dog lovers, but also those who are watching Morning at, Morning at NTV as part of you as K9 unit who, who are doing much in uh, solving or dealing with crime using these simple dogs. I would like to inform the general public that our dogs are free of charge they are readily available at stations and districts across the country mm. whenever you get any challenge uh, either a theft or mm. any scene mm. please do report to the police station mm. and you get these services free of charge as uganda police force are you going to also be part of this dog walk yeah of course uganda police uh, is partnering with the dog lovers mm. and we shall be there. See you there. Okay. Yes. yes tomorrow. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, Svambi, uh, in Songa Yembuaz, you know, so many people who are dog lovers, they don't know how to take care of the dogs, especially uh, when you see so many dogs around Kampala, loitering Wakiso, loitering around, KCCA usually does uh, 
they, they usually come on the road, they play their officers, then they make sure they do a sweep. Uh, for, the, for the care of dogs, for those who are coming tomorrow for a dog walk, what should they know, what, what should they know about uh, caring for the dogs, finally? Number one, our dear dog lovers, as you're coming tomorrow to walk your dogs with us, to us have in Chimo, get a good leash, a leash really strong, Come with the number of dogs that you can manage. Toja na mwa kuminga to zomu motoka. Jangu ne mbwe mu bobo zomu. Echa tuba saba, oluna kurencha. Mukwese abantu bafavali wo. Mubavuze embwa yangi appetite ya ye di wansi. Nkozi niti okuongida appetite ya yo. Embwa yangi yeta kula. Come tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a good experience. It's going to be a good day for you to learn much about your dogs. Thank you so much, uh, Jordan Nsibambi, one of the organizers of the dog walk, but also is a dog trainer and a lover. Of course, uh, the commander of the canine, canine unit of the Uganda police who are in charge of these dogs, is trains them, they train them, they breed them from Nagram and here, and we know they are doing a lot in dealing with crime and uh, other issues here. Stephen, in video of FFS I will make sure that I live with a dog, maybe for one for Priscilla and uh, Daniel Sebachije, together with uh, Rafat there in the studio. I will also carry for you a dog from this uh, unit here. Back to you in the studios for a short commercial break. And Priscilla, with Chris again, will be back here on Morning at NTV.